Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have Josh with me and I asked you guys on my Insta stories if you would give us some questions and we're going to be doing a Q&A today answering your all's questions and we got quite a few so I'm going to try to answer or we're going to try to answer as many of them as we can because Josh has an appointment here in the next hour and a half to get his teeth clean. I gotta go to the dentist, <laughs> so I'm drinking some coffee. <laughs> so, we're just gonna go ahead and start answering these. And some of you guys have asked similar questions, so we might kind of like lump them together. Okay, so I guess I'll do the first question and then you can do the next one. We're gonna kind of take turns. Okay, so this first question says, what did you all do for your first date? How did it go? So, um, so uh, it's pretty funny. There's some stuff in there. We we uh, we went to eat first at uh, this uh, restaurant that uh, Cattleman's mm -hmm. Steak Place, um, which kind of is like one of our top three go-to places. Yeah. Like we only like <laughs> we go there all the time. Like three places we go, and it's one of the top ones. Um, but uh, but we ate there first. I think we ate outside. Julie always tells me we ate outside there. On the yeah, we did. We ate outside first, but it was uh, it was in October, and then as soon as the sun started going down, it got cold. So then we moved inside, yeah. and we talked a lot. So we were there for a hot minutes, and then we were talking about there's this thing that they do in our city. It's called the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular that they do in the month of October, where people from all around the country. I don't know, maybe some people from around the world. They come and they like carve these cool things into the pumpkins and then you kind of go on this trail and see all the pumpkins and I was telling him that I had never done that before and it was just like a spur of the moment thing we he was like we should just go do it yeah let's go do it <laughs> so uh, then yeah. we did that uh yeah but the other things that were funny were uh so I get into Julie's car uh, this is back in the day she uh she had had all these little baggies in her car where where she had like portioned out some little nuts some <laughs> snacks um, but they're just the empty baggies, and um, she was all, she was all, oh, just trying to like tuck them away real quick. Don't, don't mind these baggies. <laughs> well, I just thought it would be weird, like you just get into a car and there's just like baggies, like <laughs> yeah. tons of baggies. Like I didn't think um... anything of it. I've had friends that keep way more trash in their car than just some, <laughs> some baggies. So I was like, whatever. I, don't know, I felt weird. Yeah, she's all like, oh, don't look at these. And then all. <laughs> too like Josh doesn't like to drive really so and that was so like awkward for me because in past relationships like the guy always drove me around so I basically drove us to the jack o lantern thing and that was kind of awkward you know right, so yeah. I don't think I was like prepared for you to ride in the car with me so it was all junked up <laughs> yeah I think she wore me down on that because I know for sure back in the day I'd have you do most of the driving, but now it's just like, whatever. I'll we kind of take our turns. Yeah. If it's a far drive, I usually drive because he hates it so much. What are some of your pet peeves about one another? Um, well, <clears throat> one of the ones that I had about Julie when we first started dating, which she's gotten a lot better about, was um, she used to always question her... Like I, wants. She yeah. would be like, <laughs> she would be like, um, do you want to turn the air down? And I'd always be like, do you want to turn the air down? I'm like, if you want to turn the air down, just say you want to turn the air down. Because it was like this thing I kept noticing. She'd always be like, do you want extra fries? <laughs> do you want extra fries? You can just say you do. Uh, but she doesn't do that probably hardly at all. She also used we a lot when she means you. So you'll be like, uh, oh, we need to do something. And then she never does it, so I know later, I'm like, she meant she wants me to do it. <laughs> so, but so, so in the past, it was a lot of uh, do use, and then now it's kind of sometimes it's like a we need to, or uh, we didn't do this, and I'm like, oh, all right, I guess I better do that. Because <laughs> we don't mean you, it means me. So. It's not we, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not we, it's me. <laughs> Um, okay, so I was thinking about the pet peeves thing. One thing that really stood out to mind to me, and my dad also does both of these things. 
<laughs> is okay. You know how like you'll have your water, like your towel in the bath, and not in the bathroom, but in the kitchen, and you'll have it over like the, the stove <laughs> handle or like where our dishwasher is. There's like a little handle where you can hang the towel. So you know, I have it all folded nice over the thing. Josh just shoves it. You just <laughs> shove it in there. Yeah. It's just like shoved. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, this looks so tacky. Plus, if the towel needs to dry out, it's shoved in. And then also, too, he is so bad about when you wash dishes sometimes or you use the sponge. Instead of squeezing the water out and putting it on top, you just leave it down the sink. It's all <laughs> soft and wet and yucky. Yeah. Then when you go to get it out the next day, you're like, oh, gosh, it's probably like got bacteria all in it. <laughs> all right. Those are like the two things. <laughs> I feel like I'm super close to the camera and you're like really far away. I'm just I'm right behind you. <laughs> okay. Does Josh ever give you his opinion on your different makeup looks? Mm. I don't really think so. You might tell me that you like the way yeah. that my makeup looks, but you're never like, oh, I don't like that lipstick. You need to change that. <laughs> or that yeah, eyeshadow looks weird. gross. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, he never says anything yeah. like that. But I'm and I don't waiting. recommend my makeup looks good. And I don't recommend <laughs> it either uh, giving, especially if it's a negative opinion, because it takes you so long sometimes. Mm -hmm, to do that if you came out and I plus two she's really critical on her own sometimes sometimes she just gets really like mm, mm, no mm, no I just wasted all this time she gets huffy uh, and she'll go I'm and she'll clean her makeup I just thinking that one time that we were in Kansas and I was trying to do my makeup remember and I got yeah. mad about something yeah, I think I something. messed up my wing yeah, and I wings, had a breakdown wings were, yeah and I'm just like mm, all right. so I don't ever say nothing it's never nothing bad anyway I, I don't notice it anyway that's the thing too so she'll be like oh my makeup's just not good and I look at it and I go all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he never has anything bad to say. What is the most important thing in your relationship? What is your advice? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think this kind of relates to some other questions I've seen on there. The, the answer is probably somewhat similar or whatever. Um, so I would say that the most important thing... <laughs> what was that? I, that truck drove by and it was like oh, it sounded oh. like a dog was yeah, in there maybe. <laughs> um, i hear the weirdest things filming sometimes I'll i think ahead. like the most important thing in a relationship is like listening to like the other person's point of views on things and like being respectful like not trying to force your own opinion on somebody else necessarily that's important and like kind of compromising sometimes on certain things. I don't know what you were going to say. Um, I was going to say the thing about how, like, um, we don't hinder each other in any way. So, for the most part, I guess. So, like, she doesn't uh, give me a hard time if I want to play video games all day because she's got her own thing to do. Yeah, that's true. I don't give her a hard time about editing all night because she's got her own thing to do. Yeah. And, um, if uh, if she, she'll she ask like she thinks she wants, or I don't know, it's, she's like... Like I ask your permission for things yeah, and you're like, like, I don't, you, you can don't do whatever to. you want to do. Like, so if she's like... Uh, <laughs> like I feel like I'm not spending enough time with you or well, something. Well, that or like even with any other thing, it's like, I'm kind of thinking about getting some cheesecake, you know, and I'm just like, uh, okay. <laughs> um, so I feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody and they're doing the opposite, where if you're like, I'm thinking about getting some cheesecake and they're like, no, you don't need it. You probably don't want to hear that. Or if you're like, if somebody comes down and goes, you've been playing, it's like they're parenting you, you know, you've yeah. been playing video games all day. You like, know? what have you even done today? Right. Yeah. Like, or like, you need to um, do blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're not in a relationship where it, uh, like, like with chores, for example, um, you should be, if we both actively tackle chores. Yeah. So you shouldn't really be the person that's not doing anything to contribute, but you'd also wouldn't want to be in a relationship where someone was like on you to oh, do yeah. something all the time. Yeah, that gets old. It gets real, real quick. Old. Yeah, just, <laughs> what do you love most about each other and how did you meet? Well, we met at work. We both work at Amazon together. Yeah. And um, we just kind of talked here and there at work. And then one day, like, Josh, he followed me on Instagram. He knew I did YouTube and stuff. 
and he messaged me on Instagram and you said something about uh, like he direct messaged me. You were like, yeah, I was at Walgreens checking out and I saw some makeup and thought of you or yeah, something. I was like, because <laughs> you, you don't notice things around you until something points it out. And I was like, gosh, this makeup is everywhere. I was like, geez. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember I was joking with you. I was like, did you buy me anything good? And you were like, I wouldn't know what to get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then he like gave me his phone number. And then I was kind of hesitant to like message him, not because I didn't like you, but like you guys know, I went through a divorce that year and it was, had been almost a year since my whole divorce, but I was like kind of scared to talk to somebody else because I didn't really want to like jump into a relationship really. But then it was like, I kept telling myself like, you need, you want to have friends that are guys, but you're not doing anything. So then I eventually messaged you. And then the rest is history. <laughs> so that's that on that. But what do you love most about each other? Hey, what do you love most about me? <laughs> she always <laughs> asks me that. She's always like, what do you love or like about me? And I'm always like, huh. Because I love you. You know how guys <laughs> <Yeah>. are. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it kind of goes back to that last thing I said. I mean, really, it's just um, real easy to be around Julie. And it's, uh, um, I don't have to worry about, you don't have to like walk on eggshells, you don't have to worry about whatever. Um, cause yeah, we just let each other be who we are and then it's whatever. Yeah. And then, um, and then also, um, I love all the love she gives me. <laughs> she takes care of me. She'll always say that. She say, she always says things like, uh, my baby loves me cause I cook him food. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I do like to eat. <laughs> yeah. So, there's food and there's snugging and, uh, you know, just in general yeah we get yeah. along really well i feel like we're like even if we weren't dating and together we're just good friends you know like i yeah. feel like even though there's things that we don't necessarily have in common it's like we're very compatible for each other it's like we complement yeah. each other well what i love most about josh is the fact that he is so laid back and it is really easy to just be with him. Um, I like the fact that we snuggle a lot. Like, he's really affectionate. So, I mean, I really like that about you. I feel like you're really loving and caring. And, you know, you really like animals. And, <laughs> like, he loves our cats. <laughs> they love me. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's just a lot of different things. And I feel like, too, whenever I get upset, you know how, like, some guys, they won't be very comforting like, he tries to comfort me if I get upset. You know, it's not like you're like, stop crying or, you know, like, leave Man me up. in a... <laughs> <laughs> or, like, leave me in a room to just get over it. Sometimes, like, you want to. I, there's, like, really funny things where you see, like, guys, like girls are crying and the guys are just, like, watching something over on, this, <laughs> on their phone over the shoulder. Like, uh-huh. That's how it feels a lot sometimes. Back in the day, she used to have more um, sporadic mood swings where she would just be upset for no reason. And I'd be like, oh boy. But again, it was just like, well, my poor girl. <laughs> She's having a rough time. And then whatever. So. Yeah. I feel like I've gotten better over the years. I don't get as upset. And either way, often. either way, it's just better to just be understanding about it and wait for it to blow over than it is to be like, I what? Don't know, knock it off. Yeah. Cause it's just going to make it worse. Yeah. Really. And nobody wants that. So. Yeah. Okay. The next question is, do you both attend church? <laughs> I don't really attend church. Church isn't really for me. I'm not super religious. Um, I don't really, I don't really know how to explain it. Just don't really feel comfortable there. I'm not sure if it's the people, the strangers, the whole thing. Um, I'm not really, just not into it. Like, so it just feels like when I go that it's just a lot of time, not how I wanted wanted to spend it. Yeah. But but Julie goes. Yeah. How do you handle disagreements? Well, we have this dog kennel I usually shove her in and I put it in the basement where it's really cold. I just let her think about what she's done. Put me in time out. <laughs> yeah. no. Um, no, we don't have a dog kennel. No. <laughs> we don't even have a... Well, we do have the cat kennel. Could you imagine trying to shove me in that? that. My, <laughs> just my head. <laughs> think about it. Um, what would, we don't disagree too often about stuff, but usually... Um, 
I don't know. I think we just... I feel like we just talk things out. Yeah, and then after that, it's like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't really feel like we have too many disagreements on things, but I feel like the, in times where we have, <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things where I get upset. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, whatever. It's not worth it. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, there's no point in fighting over something that's just not worth being upset about. Yeah. It's just like a waste of time and energy. I don't know. But a lot of times, too, we'll talk things out and be like, this is why I feel this way about it. This is why I feel this way about it. And then maybe we might kind of meet in the middle. Yeah, and I think that's the other thing why we don't have too many disagreements is because it's like if you were saying something, I, it's like I just pick or choose if it's worth, you know, like maybe I'll just be like, okay, if she wants me to do something. I don't want to do it. And then I'll be like, well, yeah, whatever. I can probably do whatever. I don't know. It's just easier sometimes to just keep the peace than to keep like take then a hard stance like, on something and picking at each other all yeah, the time or it's something yeah it's just not worth it okay what is each other's strengths and weaknesses well julie's got a great butt <laughs> 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 of course it's always his physical stuff works with guys. <laughs> so probably strengths wise julie's a uh, very committed and determined to things so you're like with youtube and with whatever almost to a fault <laughs> um where it's annoying sometimes. Uh, well it's just it for you i mean it's like she's the one that stay up too late sometimes or you know stress out over whatever or just lose her crap over some thing that from the outside is not a big deal you know I mean, think about how many videos she has. If, like, one of them goes bad, it's, like, not the end of the world. But for her, it's, like, so, um, I mean, I feel like I've tried to get... But, I mean, strength-wise, strength -wise, she, you know, she she gets a lot of stuff done and does a lot of things. And um, I think she could do more. That's probably, like, the weakness. I think she holds it... Well, she knows this, too. She holds her own self back from doing other stuff. It's, like, you know... She, She's very routine, and she doesn't want to break up her routine. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I do break up my routine, though, but it's got to be something that I really want to do. It's kind of like this, with this working out. Like, I finally decided that I want to go back to the gym, and it's like I've made it a point to make time to go to the gym before work. And, like, before, I couldn't even imagine doing that. You know, it's almost like I had to just make my mind up about it and then I can just stick to it. Josh is really smart. And like I said, I feel like he's kind. And you also, um, like, I don't know. I feel like it's easy to talk with you and stuff. Like, I feel like you're good at talking to other people, even though sometimes you don't really like talking to other people. Oh, yeah. Um, let me see. You're very strong. I'm a strong one. <laughs> when I was in the army one time, some guy described me as corn fed. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Because I'm like a bull or is something. That like, like a cow, a, I don't is know. Is that a good compliment? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my mom always says it sounds so country. You're corn fused and corn fed. Yeah, like it just that doesn't mean, yeah. sound good. But, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Let me see. I'm trying to think of what else is good strengths. Probably just like a cow thing to me I'm fat. <laughs> it's corn fed. I don't know what that means. I mean, I feel like you're really supportive. Like if I, I <laughs> like if I want to do something, I feel like you're supportive of it. You're never like, oh, don't do that. Or it's just like when I started Whole30, like I was just doing it by myself. But then you're like, well, I guess I'll just do it with you. You know, easy to be supportive because it's like, uh, people don't think they can do the things they can do. It's easy for them to not think it's doable, but it's also really easy just to tell them, yeah, you can do this or whatever. Or, I mean, if you need help with something, I can help you. Because um, it's easy. It's easy. There's no reason not to. So Yeah. I don't know. It's just easy to do. Um, weaknesses. Um, sometimes I feel like Josh can be almost too laid back sometimes mm. like not lazy but kind of yeah not like sure, yeah. it's like he has like good intentions to do things like oh i'm gonna i don't know clean out something this weekend and i'm gonna go do this and i'm gonna do that but then it's like oh 
I think I'm gonna play yeah. this video game first, yeah, or like... I'm gonna watch this TV show, or and then he slowly puts it off, and then he's like, "Well, dang it, we're back at work again." Right. So yeah. now I'm thinking, be kind of. But then again, it's like, you know, you've been sticking with school, <laughs> even though you've had a lot of the roadblocks. school is the thing I want to not do. I'm like, <laughs> Ugh, I could just quit this. I could do anything I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, I would say, like, maybe that's one of your weaknesses. Okay, so I just had to swap out my battery because it was about to die. This was part of the other question, but I kind of wanted to touch on this because it says, do you both attend church together, which we already talked about that. But the second part to that question is, do you have the same views on life? And we were talking about this because we were reading the questions like before we were filming this. And it's like, even though we might not necessarily have the same like religious views or even like political views sometimes, I feel like when it just comes to life in general, like we have the same sort of views on things like to like not be like rude to people and... Oh, rude people. You remember those? Rude? Oh, God. Anyway, we could talk about <laughs> stories of rude people. Yeah. The, are you going to go? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking of that? Yeah. <laughs> like we were in line at Panera and we were just like looking at like the bread and stuff and there was like a line. There's the two, there's like two cash registers. Yeah. Or whatever you call them. And uh, I don't know what they call them these days. I think that's what I still call them. Registers, yeah. Yeah. The, there was one that was closer to us, then there was one further away. And the one close to us still had somebody there. So while we were looking at stuff, you know, you're not really, you can't see. And the lady down at the end, she opened up. And uh, we were still just like, oh, maybe we'll get them. And the lady behind us, real quick, was just like, are you going to go? And um, we were just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, and then okay, we well. went over there. But then afterwards, we were like, yeah. how rude. Yeah, we were like, I was thinking, I was like, what is her deal? We should have <laughs> oh been like, God. you're in a hurry. Go just on. Just go around. <laughs> and then trip her as she's walking by. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been great. Um, but I also feel like, too, even though, like I was saying, you are laid back, like, I feel like we have good, like, when we're at work, we have good work ethic. Like, we're going to work when we're at work. Like, we're going to do our best when we're working. And I think that's, like, you with school. You know, you're going to do, like, your best. Well, um, I used to try to do my best. Now I'm just trying to get it over with. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, <I'm done>. but <laughs> he's over it. <laughs> um... So yeah, I don't know. I feel like we have the same views. Sometimes I think though, like if we had kids, the way we would discipline them would be different. Oh yeah, we could tell that from the cats. <laughs> Julia is so... I'm like bad cop, he's like good cop. Yeah, she's like, I'm, I'm telling her all the time, like the cats don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I would definitely be the more strict parent and I feel like he would be the laid back one to be like, and She'd I'm, be like, get down off that tree. And I'd be like, go for the top. <laughs> I don't know if that would be so good or not. <laughs> so, yeah. What type of makeup does he prefer? Drama, no makeup. No makeup, makeup. <laughs> no makeup, makeup. Nothing, etc. Um, I think prefer-wise, I, I don't really... Um, prefer or anything. But I do like when she does like stuff she doesn't normally sometimes so like, when she does like really crazy colors that pop i'm like whoa like oh peacocking today <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. whatever uh but if we have things to do i would just prefer her to do less makeup just so we can go like sometimes <laughs> it's like if we don't plan something ahead of time and it's like you come home and you're like oh you want to go somewhere she's like yeah i just gotta get ready and i'm like get ready like you're ready and then it's like an hour later she's like okay i'm ready i'm already got my socks off i'm, <laughs> I'm like, ah, okay. but usually those are like things where it's like you want to go out tonight and like do something and i'm like oh i gotta look cute for that but yeah like if we were just out running errands it's like yeah. whatever but yeah um okay how does he feel about your youtube channel I really it's it's fine. I mean, it's a hobby. She likes to do it. Keeps her busy while I play video games. <laughs> favorite moment. What yeah. is your favorite moment shared together? And I can say that we don't. I thought about that, and I don't think we have a moment. Like I can't pinpoint. I can think about a ton of stuff we've done, but I wouldn't say there was like a moment. Like wasn't like. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, like we were talking about this before we were filming, and we were talking about how like. Yeah, we've taken like good vacations with each other. Like we went to Gulf Shores, we've been to the Smoky Mountains, we went up to Toronto, and like those are good moments. But honestly, like our favorites are just like coming home, fixing dinner together, and then just like watching a show and snuggling on the couch. Yeah, just like getting full in the belly and then laying <laughs> on the couch and then just being like, 
like uh, and then just waking up like <laughs> waking and up like and then you're all oh. hot like, and then you wake up in. and you go oh, it's time for bed <laughs> <laughs> so silly. yeah um if you could change something about the other what would it be I mean, this is like one of those things. It's like if I changed it about you, it wouldn't make you, you wouldn't be you. All right. You yeah. know, and then maybe I would end up not liking that. Because it's kind of like how I said sometimes I wish you were like maybe a little bit more motivated, but at the same time, that's another reason why I like you. Because I'm so motivated, I need somebody to like bring me back to reality, you know? Mm -hmm. If I could change one thing, it would be, <laughs> I would change it so where Julie wouldn't uh, have this bottled talking time th that she saves up to right when I'm, oh. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know, ready to go to sleep. And then she's like, so let me tell you everything about everything. And I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> it's like, usually those days I've worked in some, in my department where I wasn't around people very much. So I don't really converse with people very much. And then... I just have all this word vomit at the end of the day yeah, when we're laying in it. bed and he's just I, like <sighs> I mean it's not it's not it's it's oh it's not, it's okay it's just always the timing on some of that it's always like I'm not I can't listen to it right You're now like, sorry or, I'm sleeping or, uh, <laughs> uh, so if I could change anything she would just uh, Never probably talk. have somebody else to vomit on <laughs> gross <laughs> word vomit this one is interesting I'll let you read the, that one. Do you both snore? Who does the laundry? Who is the messiest? Josh, is Julie really this sweet? So Julie doesn't snore, but when she falls asleep, she does this like clicking <laughs> thing with her teeth sometimes when she, not all the time, I like just, when, them. just when she falls asleep. And, um, uh, and I for sure, I don't know how much anymore. I don't know if you it, don't snore all the time. If I fall asleep on my back, yes. especially sitting on the up couch. or something, forget about it. It's yeah. going to be like... Oh, and then I'm, you're like, I try to like I'll wake myself up sometimes. And he's like, well, okay. And then it's I like, mean, one oh. time, was it like, last? Was it... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Either way, yeah. The, yeah, he's the snorer, but only if he's laying on his back, usually. Um, Who does the laundry? That would oh, be Oh, wait, me. hold on, hold on. What, what? It says who is... Oh, yeah, who does the laundry? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Julie does laundry. Yeah, I don't trust him. Who's he messed my person? bras up one time. Yeah, she's like, don't. Would it dry I was them? like, don't put them in the dryer. Yeah, I'm like, well. <laughs> um, Who's the messiest? Probably me. Uh, <laughs> because I, I mean, I clean up, I clean yeah, up a lot. Yeah, he does clean. But I also will throw my stuff wherever I want when I want to and then get it later. So I'm kind of like one of those people, if I'm by myself, I'm know, like though. super clean. I don't but know, if though. I'm yeah. with somebody else and you're like throwing stuff everywhere, I'm like, I, I, whatever, I I'm throwing it, it everywhere too. Now that I think about it, like the other day I walk into the room, the bedroom at, at night was dark. Or Julie's shoes were just right there on the floor in the doorway and I was like <laughs> tripping over them and I was like, oh yeah. It's anyway. so funny. I think it's because when I'm by myself, I have more time on my hands. So I'm like, we'll make sure this is perfectly put. But when I'm with somebody else, I'm like, who cares? Yeah. And the last question is, Julie, really this sweet? Um, she really is. It's kind of gross. <laughs> 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 yeah. But now, besides that, so besides being really sweet and kind and stuff, uh, except for whenever the cats are doing something, she's not happy so I'm like, about. stop scratching the couch. And I'm just like, with the water cat. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's like really delicate with things too. Like I said before, like we, we were, the thing we were watching most recently was that, uh, abducted in plain sight and Julie got all upset about that. And now I'm just like, oh, she's, she can't handle it. <laughs> she's too I know, sweet. It's just, it's terrible to think that people oh, my, do that to other people. So sweet, she can't even, <laughs> the world's too harsh for her. <laughs> well, is all there right. anything else you want to add? <laughs> oh, uh, let me just read this thing. So my mom oh. just messaged me because she saw that. Uh, I guess she didn't know how to leave a question on there. Uh, she said, had to laugh at Julie's Instagram notes about Q&A for the two of you. No questions about when you guys were getting married or having kids. LOL. Gee, I am your mother and I don't even know those answers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you are married in your hearts. Aww, that was sweet. I'm glad that Josh decided to join me today to do this Q&A. Um, so yeah, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you would like to see Josh in other videos, let us know down in the comments. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They're probably done with me by now. <laughs>